What's up guys and welcome back to another Little Big Planet 3 video and today we are finally finished with our graduation ceremony I guess you could say in the last episode we did the final term one pop-up puzzle and we graduated we got this fancy get up I just got back from my graduation party we just had big old pizza <laughs> a root beer float it was fantastic it was the best party ever but anyways um we're actually going to switch back there wasn't actually a party I'm obviously joking but um let's switch to Zebra now and I want to do something very special for you guys to sort of use what we learned in the first term of pop it puzzles I wanted to go into create mode which is something that you guys have heavily requested to sort of create and give it a shot um, I'm really willing to give it a shot and see how far it goes this is my moon obviously completely decked out in zebra style but let's go and create a level and see how it works out now I do have to warn you guys that this is my first time creating level in over five years this is it's ever since little big planet one back in 2009 so i just i just wanted to warn you guys if you guys don't like watching a noob try to figure out how to create this might not be the little series for you but i just wanted to try this because a lot of people have been requesting it so i thought if you guys want it then it's worth a shot and the first thing i wanted to do was go into i think it's global stuff yeah yeah here it is we can go into the background and we can change it to whatever we want or at least whatever we have and i'm thinking you know what I like, let's do Bunkum, or that's not Bunkum Lagoon, uh, you know what, let's do Manglewood, and let's see what this looks like, and it looks, oh, oh, uh, okay, looks a little weird, um, oh, there it goes, it's loading a bit more, and it's like weird, because you gotta start from the ground, maybe I just wanna keep it simple for now, uh, I think I will, because what's more important, you always gotta understand, like, oh, whoa, whoa, ow, ouch, that hurt, <laughs> what was that all about, alright then, um, what was that all about? I'm not really sure. We're way off this way. <laughs> I don't understand what just happened. And now, now we're back. Now we're back. Um, one thing that's more important to me than the looks right now is that there's level design there. You know, the basic idea of level design of, you know, making sure things are where they're supposed to be. Now, if I press play, that's, yeah, that's going to fall back down to the ground. So maybe I could put it way up here. And then physics, no. It stays static. That's exactly what I want. Okay, cool. And, I, um... Yeah, let's put it infinite lives for now. I really don't know what I want this to be. Of course, we want it to be a Sackboy level for now. But I do have some ideas for the future of it. But right now, I just figured maybe we could get some basic platforms down and see how that works out for us. And if you guys have any tips for creating, I would love to hear them. Because like I said, I'm a huge, huge noob on what to do. And really, like, all of the... It's just, it's awesome new to me right now. So if you guys have any tips for me, I would really, really appreciate it. I think we're going to go into materials now. And, uh... Let's make it static, and just sort of make some uh, or some uh, places for us to stand on right here. And so it's like I want my character to, of course, spawn in right here. And maybe I should uh, move myself out of the way. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, step on out of the way here. Okay, that's better. That's better. Uh, zoom in a little bit. Get all nice and close and personal. Okay. Um, goodies bag. Here we are. And then make this bigger. Excellent. So. Yeah, like I said, I'm really nervous too. I just feel, I feel so nervous like I'm gonna mess this up and you guys aren't gonna like the video. But hopefully you guys still enjoy me just doodling around and try and create mode and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot I still need to learn. Like, I don't know how to constrict players to certain layers. It's like, how am I going to stop them from hopping up to this layer and all that kind of stuff? I don't know. Let me just, for, for right now, let me fill up all the layers so that hopefully <laughs> nobody breaks on free. And I probably won't make this level public for a very long time until it's finished. What I want to do is I want to come back to this level after we create term two, so or finish term two, so that way we can um, use even more of what we learned. But right now, you know, one of the main things that I really enjoyed learning about in the um, what's it called, the um, the pop-up puzzles was the uh, the bounce pad. So I figured we could get some bounce pads in here. And just sort of get a good feeling for that. Let's see. Uh, no, no, no. That's a connector. We just learned about that last episode. But we got the layer launcher. We have the slide. Oh, man. I want to build a slide. I want to build a slide. <laughs> I'm getting so excited here right now. So let's do like a bounce pad, maybe. We got Veloc. Oh, we could do a Veloc support. There's so much we could do. And it's like, oh, no. Which one do I pick? I don't know, though. It's it's crazy. Um, How about what we do is we start the player off in a room like this. And then like what I could do is I could do this, uh, hold on, hold on. Yep, just like this, and then this alley-oop. 
and I have to do that for all the layers. And I know this won't look very pretty. Like I said, I wanna get the basic idea of the level down before I start doing any aesthetics. So I'm sorry if that bothers you, but I just, I feel like that's more important to a good level. Of course, looks are very, very important, but without, you know, the design to it, <laughs> there's no point, you know? So how do I, I think I can do this? No, no, no. That, there we go, that's exactly what I wanted to do, so that's awesome. And now make it so like I can jump on through. I do wanna move it a little bit. Uh, wait, ooh, no, no, there we go. Give me this, there we go. <laughs> and place it like, okay. It's being a little bit of a jerk, but that's okay. Um, no, I didn't wanna do that. <laughs> um, static, there we go. And the height, make it a little bit higher, so that we sort of like boost up here. <laughs> I know it'll be all like, so it's like we spawn in and we're like, ooh, a jump pad and we jump on it. And it's like, whoa, we're off here then. I don't know what I wanna do up here. Maybe I can make it so that like there's a big supporter up here. And I don't know, like I have t tons of ideas swirling around in my head, but I don't know how to execute them. Also, if you wanna create along with me, feel free to do that and we can have a little bit of a competition or something cool like that. No, that's not what I wanted. Um, and that would be really, really cool because then it's like we could have a little bit of a competition and you can share your uh, creation with me. You can uh, go online using the PS4 share features and share with me uh, what you created what in the time that I created. And maybe you you know, you know kicked my butt at creating or maybe you know, we're sort of tied with how good we created, that kind of stuff. I feel like that would be really, really fun. That was on the wrong layer. Embarrassing, embarrassing. I know, I know it doesn't look good at all, but I need, there's the only way to learn when it comes to this kind of stuff is doing. I can watch people create all day long, but I feel like the only way I can learn how to really create is by doing. So there's that other the, the other Veloc supporter is way down there now. So I need to um get that really quick. And maybe I can make it so that it sort of like throws us out <laughs> somewhere over here. I know this is really silly, but I just I need to try new things and this is what I wanted to try. And it's like, I want it to land this onto a slide. And it's just like, I've never ever used these things before. So just using them like this is going to be a really nice learning experience for me. This is this is disorienting. This is very disorienting. I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, I don't understand. Well, I got a slippery slope trophy, but I don't understand what's with that fancy pattern. I don't understand. Um, what's going here? And then, alley -oop. We go through here and then we do slide. We just don't slide exactly how I want it to. So maybe I can, um, yeah. Special properties, uh, visuals, yes. Um, whoa, 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 my game didn't like that. Mm hmm, steering. Okay, some interesting stuff I can manipulate here. So I can make like this the slide faster. That's interesting. It's a lot of little tweaks like this. And I hopefully hopefully we learn more and more about this in term two. That would be really, really awesome. I've yet to play any of term two, so that would be exciting. Um hmm. Like I don't understand. I'm just a little confused, like how do you make it go through other layers? And if you have any tips, feel free to let me know. I would really do, I do really appreciate your comments and your thoughts and all that kind of stuff, as long as you're not being mean and attacking me or anything. Cause like I said, I'm learning, I'm still figuring all this out. It's all like, you know, when, when you are when you have all these options just thrown at your face, it sort of gets nerve wracking and you don't know what to do. So you just start throwing things together like crazy. And the, and the best way to learn is by doing, like I keep on saying. So let's uh make a wall, cause I don't want them to backtrack. <laughs> and I don't even know what I'm doing at this point, but I just figured I gotta keep trying until I like what I have. And I don't quite like what I have, so I gotta keep going. There we go. Like I said, these are gonna be like little 15 minute episodes where I just give a shot at, you know, making a level, and hopefully it'll be a fun learning experience for all of us. If you are new to creating yourself, or maybe you're an expert and would love to give a shot at teaching a noob like me, that'd be awesome. Okay then, um, hmm. Now I want to try out maybe what we could do more bounce pads, but we can make it a little bit like a platformer level or something. So like, hmm. Uh oh, wrong one. Now I think there's actually an option so that like we don't maybe uh so that like they're multiple layers big, so we don't have to make every layer individually. Hopefully, there we go. It's R1. Okay, that makes a little more sense, and this will be way easier. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's do this. 
And then, um, I think I'll keep this going on for a little bit longer. So, no, 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 no. Back to here, back to here. And do this again. And then make it as big as possible, just as we were doing. Excellent. And then what I'll do is I'll make a bit of a triangle shape now so that, yeah, here it is, here it is. The uh, right angle triangle, exactly what I wanted. Thank you, game. Um, and just sort of make it go up like this. Excellent, I like this, I like this a lot. Maybe we could make it a little more like this, yeah? So it's just not as much of a uh, sharp slope up. There we go, cool. <laughs> and like I said, I, I'm sorry if this isn't interesting to you, but that's why we have plenty of other Little Big Planet vi videos, like we have our whole story mode, we have plenty of DLC videos, we have plenty of Pop It Puzzle and Team Pick videos, so there's hopefully a lot of Little Big Planet content you guys have been watching and enjoying, so if, that, if this just isn't your fancy, I totally get it, but you aren't missing out, I guarantee you. So while I'm figuring this out, I did want to say that I feel like what our goal for the level will be is that I want to recreate the level I was talking about that I made five years ago. Back in 2009, I made a level called Attack of the Mushrooms. And basically, it was just a simple level to try out how enemies work, because at the time I was trying to learn about the tutorials. And I tried it out, and I thought it was really cool. Basically, you know, um, you can make enemies and stuff, and I made mushrooms that would attack us, and they would chase you and stuff like that. And it, the level was never finished. I never put an ending scoreboard, so you can never technically finish the level. So I thought it was hilarious playing it back, you know? Um, but I wanted to make a... Um, Attack of the Mushrooms HD collection, if you will. I think that's gonna be really funny. So I feel like that's what our goal will be. And I hopefully you guys enjoy that idea. And let me know if you do, if you have any crazy cool um, level ideas you would like to see me make. I am totally up to hearing what you guys have going on in your magnificent noggins. So feel free to let me know. So let's do this again so that we have a ceiling. Maybe that ceiling's a little too low, I'm not sure. I know, it's boring and gross looking with this cardboard. But I wanted to try to make, you know, use some of the things we learned how to use. So, um, I think it would be in the globe, no, no, no. It would be in the tools bag, yes. And we want a string. So here's a string, I wanna attach it to here, and then just do that for now, I think. Oh, well, I sort of did it way too far off, so let's try this again. And then, there we go. Okay, so now I wanna create an object, just sort of, you know, to test this out. Get that basic idea of level creation going here, and just do this. So that it's like, you know, it's hanging here, and then we're gonna get a string to, you know, sort of swing on it so we can swing past these uh, spikes, because we I don't think we can normally jump over those spikes. It's too far of a distance. So hopefully with this, this will make it easier. Let's go in here and make it actually possible. Not even easier, but possible. And then let's do a string and string this here. Ooh. Um, why is it not working? Uh, ooh. There we go, hooray! And let's see how this works. Uh, play it, play it up. And then, ooh. oh, what did I do wrong? Oh no, <laughs> I've ruined my own level. Um, let's see, uh, hmm, what can we do here? The length, uh, visible in play mode, yes. Audio, it's a string, so I don't know, understand what I did wrong. It should have gravity to it. Hmm, I'm a little confused. I'm a confuzzled zebra right now. I don't understand why. Hmm, what did I do wrong here? Feel free to let me know if you see something that I don't. Um, hmm. Because there's rod, a spring. Let's try elastic instead then? Okay, and then let's get rid of the string. Hold on now. And then, boop, boop. And then, let's see. Hopefully this works. No, nothing. Maybe if we, one thing, save. Save it now, and then let's change the play mode to see if it works now. And this will be our first episode completed. So we get this little box and we're like, what are we doing in here? There's a jump pad, let me try this out. And whoa, through here now, whoa, sliding down here. And then we go over here and it's like, oh look, this and, uh oh, it doesn't work, oh no. And then we have to die. I don't understand what I did wrong there, but maybe this is a good point to cut it off. This is our first little prototype of an idea of trying new things out. This is a new type of series for me, and it took a lot of guts for me to try this because I have a lot of comfort zone when it comes to videos, so it's like, you know, for me to try this is a big deal. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, you know, your, your feedback is really appreciated on what I could do to make this series a little more interesting. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. 
Hey there, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family. The support really does help. If you have any thoughts, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you're interested in watching more videos, why don't you check out some of the ones on the screen right now? Either way, this has been Zebra. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay Zebra-tastic.